Hello and welcome to the second part in a series of tutorials where I show you an error message and then walk you through how to resolve it. In this case, we'll be going through the error message module something has no attribute something. In this case, I'll be using a previous tutorial where I used tkinter to create a progress bar and I kept on getting this error message and it really stumped me for some time but I'm going to walk you through how I got through it and then how it generically is resolved. So if I just show you the error message to begin with, here on the right we see here that it has module x, in this case tkinter, has no attribute x, in this case progress bar. Now I've looked at the documentation and I know for a fact that tkinter does have the attribute progress bar, which is what made this error message so annoying. But the problem here comes in the way in which you're importing your modules and the way in which your attributes are called. So in this case, in many cases, if you have this error message, and this is the only error message that you get, in this case, the code is correct. You've got the correct indentations. You've got you know, everything's named properly and set out correctly. And the problem comes right at the start where you're importing the modules and calling them. So please don't go around changing anything or rewriting code if this is the only error message that you're getting. What the problem is, what you need to do and how to solve for it is that you need to import the module again, but more specifically, the the area of the module that you need because tkinter in this case is a really big module and progress bar sits in a subsection of it and so what i need to do in this case is call the subsection of it and import it separately so in this case i've imported it as tkinter.ttk and that's where the progress bar part sits in and i've given it a different alias as tkrtk and then what we need to do is when we call it we need to call the tkr tk this time rather than just the whole module in general and then when you run it again you'll see that it starts running this first thing is because it was wrong first time and there we go it starts running and the problem here is because the tk inter has you know it has many different functions associated with it and in this case progress bar it was getting confused with the class names because it's such a big module that in some cases uh, the functions that are being called have the same name so it gets really confused so you need to import it separately and call it separately in order to, for it to work thank you very much for watching